Hi there, welcome back to the second in the series of how to add a postage calculator to your listings. Now we're talking about the Aussie's postage calculator here and we have already downloaded and programmed uh, the, the program with all our information and what we're going to do now is actually put it into a listing. So uh, we've got the code highlighted here so we just right clicked and copy and then we go to our listing okay that we're creating so for example I've got a listing here that I'm a new listing that I'm creating on Octiva and what I want to do is move down to the item description okay so normally my description would go here and then I like to just add a little bit of introductory text um, which just tells the, the customer what to do because they may not have come across this calculator before Okay, and I think it's important that they know that this is where they will find uh, the quoted postage charge and that they actually need to add the quoted price to the um, buy it now or the, or the final bid price, to um, the highest bid price to get the final price for the item. Okay, um, all right, so we've got that text in there. Now what we need to do is actually switch to HTML view. Okay, so click on that button and this gives us all the HT, um, the backside, I guess, or the, the code of, of what we were just seeing there. All right, so that's our WYSIWYG editor. That's how it comes up. And then this is the code. All right, now what you want to do is you want to find the end of this code. Okay, and we just want to um, paste. Okay, so I right clicked on my mouse and pasted all that code in there. All right, so now there's a lot of code in there. All right, you don't want to go around changing any of that either. All right, so that's all in there now. Uh, now we just switch back to standard view, and you'll actually notice that you don't see anything. Okay, and you won't at this stage. What you need to do now is actually go down to preview. So we'll preview our listing and you'll find that it'll show up now. Okay, so here's our template, there's our description, there's the information we put in and here is our calculator. Now let's see if it works. Fantastic. Alright, so you can test that out and make sure that it's all working fine. Excellent. And it does. So that's, that's how simple it is to transfer that information and put it into your listing. Okay, now what I would probably do actually is I'd come back up here just to make this a little bit neater and I would put my cursor here and I would put in another space just to give it a little extra space in between. There we go, see that's a little bit better. There's a bit of space there between the, the text and, and the calculator. Okay, so now you can post, well once you've put all the rest of the information in there, you can post that off to eBay. And what I would, okay, so once, once this is sold, um, what happens is that uh, the buyer receives a, an email from eBay saying that, uh, they've been the winning bidder and I'll give them an invoice. Now they have the ability to alter that invoice. If you have a, um, oh that's what I need to show you, sorry. The other thing you need to ensure is that in the shipping tools here uh, that you just put in a flat rate shipping, okay. Don't select anything here uh, and then that way it will come up onto eBay, okay, saying, let's have a look here. Check item description and payment instructions or contact seller for details, okay, in regards to the, the postage costs. All right, so once the um, buyer has, has purchased your item, okay, which they've done here, uh, they'll receive an email and it will tell them the, the price the buy it now price, but it won't give them, it won't actually quote them the, the postage cost. Now they can come back 
and they can put in their postcode in here so they live in Sydney and they can depending on whether they're going to accept regular or express post they can then add that amount into the invoice and pay the total amount okay but if they don't pay away straight away I always send people an invoice now you can do that from my eBay or if they haven't paid for it already you can you can see it will have a send customer invoice option here and what I always do is because you will also receive an email that tells you the person who's bought your item and their postage uh, sorry their uh, mailing address which will give you their postcode what you do is then take the postcode input their postcode in the actual calculator in the listing okay to make sure that you are getting that you are quoting them the same price as what they're expecting okay um, so I always go back to the to the original listing put the their postcode in here and calculate it and then I adjust the invoice and with the appropriate postage cost and send it off to the customer. And then that's it. So congratulations. That's as easy as it, um, that's, yeah, how easy it is. And from now on, you'll never be overcharging or undercharging your customers for postage. And I'm sure they'll appreciate that as much as you will. Thank you. Bye for now.